Now let's discuss one of the use cases which we have solved using Genii Operator. A healthcare diagnostic provider reached out to us with a problem statement. This provider, they conduct lab tests for employees of multiple organizations and they were looking for an automated system which extracts examination results as in like the lab results from these lab reports that were uh, for the tests that were done for the employees and they wanted to extract insights and recommendations from these lab reports and provide these health insights to their client companies. The, they implemented this problem statement using the combination of Gather ETL and Analytics. Let's see it in action. This is the ETL canvas where you can drag and drop different components to create your ETL flows. The one of the flow that you see right now on the screen is a pre-created pipeline for our health results problem statement. We start by reading the data from the source. The, the lab reports are present in PDF format on AWS S3. We read that from S3 using our S3 operator. Next step is to parse these PDF files using the PDF parser. After that, we cleanse the data to get the PDF content in a semi-structure format. So here you see these are the files from where we have read the data and these are the contents of where you can see the patient information, date of birth and there are many extensive contents and results present in these PDF content. Next step is to transform this data before parsing to Gen AI operator. And for that, we have applied multiple transformations here to extract the patient information from the data, uh, to extract examination results, flatten the data uh, to our desired format, and also define the ranges of the examination results that are present in these PDF files. So uh, after applying the set of these operators, we get our structured data which we can send to our Gen AI operator. So this is the data that we are sending to Gen AI operator where ha we have information on patient name, the company to which patient belong to, the examinations that has been conducted for that patient, the result of that examination unit reference and then we had split this reference range into two, the lower range and the upper range. Now we can pass these rows as data to our Gen AI operator. And the Gen AI operators can be found in this analytics session of our component panel. So in this component panel, you can see uh, different Gen AI operators that are available here. As uh, uh, you can see, as your OpenAI Bedrock, OpenAI, these are some of the analytics operators that you can use to implement your Gen AI use case. For this use case, we will use OpenAI operator. And this is the OpenAI operator that we had already configured after our data was transformed and ready to be analyzed. So how you can configure this OpenAI operator is you can establish a connection using your own API, own uh, OpenAI key. And the next step is to pass the prompt here, where in user prompt, we defined our instructions that uh, would tell OpenAI its purpose and what insights it has to extract from the incoming data from the previous processor. For example, here we are uh, giving an information of our input data and we have added an instruction on getting the recommendation from this input data set. So also you can select which OpenAI model you can select uh, <coughs> you want to use depending upon your use case. Then there are some other uh, parameters available here like temperature which helps in defining the accuracy of your output, the tokens that define the consumption of the data in OpenAI. These are some of the parameters that you can define while configuring your Gen AI operator. Next is to map your input data to the uh, prompt data that has been defined. And finally, you can also define the rate at which the request would be hit to the OpenAI API using these rate rate control parameters. Once you, are, you have done all this configuration, and when you go through the steps of this processor, the OpenAI will look at those records that are coming from the previous processor and generate the recommendation that you can see here. So for each examinations, uh, like say glucose or urea, OpenAI has generated a recommendation. After we have the recommendation with us, we have references and result with us, 
we just apply one more transformation where we define if the result is within the range of the test or not. And based on that, we define if we, uh, the result is high, normal or low. So we have we got the recommendation. We have got all the insights, patient information from the lab reports. Final step is to visualize this data. And for that, you can use the visualize nodes, which will directly gen put your data into gather analytics and would help you to proceed with visual visualization section. So let me show the visualization that we have created using gather analytics for the data that we just processed using the ETL pipeline. So this is the health result analysis for those patients which I had showed you in the previous section. So here you can see with this visualization, we were able to determine how many appointments were uh, taken in a particular month but depended upon appointment date that we fetched from uh, ETL process. Next, in next visualization, you can see we are determining how many employees have their test results out of range and how many of them have their test results within the range. Then you can also see some information or trends where you can see if their result has increased compared to the previous test that was done on a previous date. And such insights can be generated from the ETL data that we got in a previous section. Also, there is another dashboard has, that has been created on this data set where you can get information on what was the date of birth of that particular employee, what is the ID of that employee, and the recommendations that you generated in previous step can be displayed here using different visualization. So this is the summary of the visualization and this is how using the combination of ETL and analytics you can create any problem statement in few minutes and get the desired result. Thank you.